is Tom at Talon Guitar Works, um, a repair facility in Southwest Florida. But today I want to talk to you about a product that's uh, near and dear to me, and I risk my credibility by by throwing this out there. But I'm not being paid for this, but with the holiday seasons approaching here, and a lot of people that know young kids that are going to start playing electric guitar for the first time and need an amplifier. I wanted to mention a company that uh, started out in Las Vegas, Nevada in 2011 called Positive Grid. Now, Positive Grid designed the Spark amplifier, the Spark 40, and I bought one on a pre-order in 2019. It was direct sales only and received it because I saw the features and the benefits it had. And I said, this is pretty cool for a practice amp. This thing just blows a lot of the other stuff out of the water. And here is the Spark that I purchased on the pre-order. And this is the original Spark 40. Now, the neat thing about this amplifier is the first neat thing is it will amplify an electric guitar, an electric bass guitar, or an acoustic electric guitar. So you've got those three modes. It's also got some tone sets on it, but it has a tone print library of about 50,000 different tones in it, and you're allowed to upload tones to it and take them down from this cloud. Now, it does work off of both the Mac, iOS, and Android systems, so it'll work on the uh, different pads and on the different phones. There is a USB connection on it that allows it to work as an audio interface for a DAW or digital audio workstation on a computer. Now, Positive Grid also made some higher end stuff called the BIOS system, which was designed for recording guys to tweak their sound to uh, the infinite possibilities they could and get exactly what they wanted on their recordings. Now, some of the other features on this current Spark 40, and when I say Spark 40, I bought this in 2019. Now, the Spark 2 is coming out, which is going to have some different features on it. So I'm going to separate this. Uh, some of the stuff that we're going to talk about on here is that it's got, you know, a built-in tuner on it, which is... You know, no big deal. It's got 40 watts solid state power. It's got Bluetooth on it. It's got a library of amps. And I already mentioned the 46 different effects pedals that it has. It's got what they call auto chord learning to where if your kid has got a Spotify or a iTunes song that's stored, they could drop it in. And it will decode what the chords are for that song and allow them to play along with that song and uh, learn it a little bit faster. Now, it is rudimentary. It's not like, oh, they're, they're going to show you all these, these great tricks and you're never going to need a guitar teacher. Now, I started out um, with one of these systems. I didn't start out playing with it, but I started out with Riff Station that Fender adopted. Some guys came up with it. Fender had it for a while. And I still have my Riff Station stuff. I just keep it on a, a separate hard drive so I could transfer it from computer to computer. It's no longer available. But I always thought that was cool. Now, the new system's got a smart jam. It's also got voice commands, so it's hands-free. It's also got some um, outs to what they have now is an FR, FR speaker system to go along with the Spark 2. And that is approximately, I think, 140 or 150 watts. And FRFR is full range flat response, which means it operates like all the other modeling amplifiers do and going into basically a PA type speaker. And, you know, you look at the price of it, it's, I want to say, $284. And you look at the PowerCab 112s for the Helix system, and they're about $499. So, I'll tell you. Now, the, the, the Helix power cabs do a little bit more than the Positive Grid Spark FRFR. And I'm going to get into that. And this is the reason I made the video. As soon as Spark started their marketing campaign, there were some people that responded on Facebook that, oh, it doesn't sound great when you play out. And it's like, if you're playing out with a Spark 40, shame on you. Because it's that's not really what it was designed for, was it? It was designed as a practice amp. It's got some little speakers and little six-inch speakers in it, and that's what you've got to work with. Um, you should be playing out with a, something a little bit better than a Spark. 
not saying it's a bad piece of equipment. It's just not performance grade equipment as it stood with the old Spark system. So the guys were throwing shade at and comparing it to the Kemper and the Helix and uh, the Tonex and the Quad Cortex and all the other stuff that's out there, the Fractal. Remember what the price of those are. I paid about $1,300 for my Helix, and that was without the power cabs. So don't compare apples to oranges on this one. At under $300, it is a great practice amp. And what it's going to do, feature and benefit-wise, with the pedal system alone, is save parents a ton of money on exploratory purchases of pedals. When I was a kid, a lot of the music stores didn't want to have demo pedals because they didn't want to lose any money. So unless Boss put the big display system in there where you could test drive any of their pedals, you had to take a risk and go what Premier Guitar or Guitar Player Magazine said you should have. And sometimes you went in to buy the pedal you wanted and it wasn't there and you got talked into buying the Phaser pedal that sounded like a jet engine in reverse and you were like, hey, wait a minute, I, I really don't need this. Now, at one point, I was a pedal geek. I had about 255 pedals, or excuse me, 155 pedals of different types of stuff. A lot of them because people gave them to me and said, here, do you want these? And they were laying, laying around and stuff like that. The actual ones I purchased, I probably purchased about 55 of those pedals. And I traded a bunch of them for a PRS S2. I still have pedals that come out. When I open up boxes, I'll find, you know, different pedals that are, that are hanging out still. And I'm like, where did this come from? But... The audio interface system on this to be used with a DAW if the kid's doing any type of recording stuff, you know, even a used DAW is going to cost you $40. The pedals at anywhere from $69 up to $400 or oh my God money uh, is going to save a ton of money. This is money you can invest on getting the child a little bit better guitar than uh, entry level electric that may run them off instead of endear them to the guitar. And Right now, I know there are some of you parents that are out there. If you know some parents where the kid's got talent and the kid is going to take to this and you got that feeling in your bones, go ahead and suggest getting them a spark. They can uh, budget other money to other areas later on. But the company uh, didn't take off as well as I think, and in my opinion, because they were direct sales. I was working at Wally's uh, Guitar Repair Shop in Englewood, Florida, and we tried to become a, a dealer for the spark. And it was direct sales only. They weren't in Guitar Center yet. They weren't on Amazon or at Sweetwater. So the only chance you had of seeing one was if you had a friend that had one or if you took the leap of faith. I took the leap of faith and bought it. And I never regretted that. Um, it's a great system. I'm thinking about upgrading and getting the, the Spark 2. I still have my Helix stuff, don't get me wrong. It's great stuff, but if you want to show somebody that's learning to play guitar, hey, here's the different things that are out there and available to you, it may just make it a little bit easier for them on their path. Now, when they released this, we had COVID that hit in 2020, and the guitar boom that burgeoned into 71 million people in the United States playing guitar, now it's going back the other way, so... Hopefully, uh, if you're interested in these, you check them out. I'll put my uh, credibility on it because I'm not being paid for this video. I just believe in the product. I purchased the product. I played the product extensively. Um, for what it was designed to do, I think it does a great job. I think it's a great tool. And I thought about how much money I could have saved had I had one of these when I was a kid trying to learn how to play guitar. So this is Tom from Talon Guitar Works. Remember, only half my ideas are any good. you got to decide which half.